chemical tests for sulphate. Sulphates are inorganic salts containing sulphate ions. The sulphate ion is a polyatomic anion in which the central sulphur atom is surrounded by four equivalent oxygen atoms in a tetrahedral arrangement. In the sulphate ion, the sulphur atom is in the plus 6 oxidation state while the four oxygen atoms are in the minus 2 states. Sulphate ion forms many salts like sodium sulphate, potassium sulphate, barium sulphate etc. Very well known colored salts of sulphate are green vitriol and blue vitriol. Our aim here is to test the presence of sulphate ion in a given salt. Let's look at the preliminary test of sulphate. Test for independent radicals. Materials required Original salt Dilute hydrochloric acid Barium chloride solution Concentrated hydrochloric acid Droppers Funnel Filter paper Test tubes Test tube holder and Bunsen burner Procedure Take a small quantity of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid using a dropper. Boil the contents of the test tube over the Bunsen burner. Now, filter the content into another test tube using the funnel and the filter paper. To the filtrate, add a few drops of barium chloride solution using a dropper. Sulphate reacts with barium chloride to form a white precipitate of barium sulphate. Using a dropper, add a small amount of concentrated hydrochloric acid to the white precipitate. Shake the contents of the test tube well. The white precipitate is insoluble in concentrated hydrochloric acid, indicating the presence of sulphate. Next, we look at the confirmatory tests of sulphate. Barium Chloride Test Materials required Aqueous solution of the salt Barium Chloride solution Dilute hydrochloric acid Test tube and droppers Procedure Take a small quantity of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small amount of barium chloride solution using a dropper. Sulphate reacts with barium chloride to form a white precipitate of barium sulphate. Using another dropper, add a small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid to this precipitate and shake the test tube well. The precipitate is insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid. Matchstick test Materials required Original salt Solid sodium carbonate powdered charcoal, distilled water, sodium nitroprusside solution, watch glass, spatula, glass rod, wooden splinter, china dish and Bunsen burner. Procedure Take a small amount of the salt in the watch glass. To this, add a small amount of solid sodium carbonate using a spatula. Then. Add a little powdered charcoal using another spatula. Now, add a few drops of distilled water to the mixture. Mix the contents of the watch glass with a glass rod so as to get a paste. Take some of this paste on one end of a wooden splinter and heat in the reducing flame of the Bunsen burner. Sulphate reacts with sodium carbonate and charcoal to form a fused mass of sodium sulphide. Now, dip the fused mass into sodium nitroprusside solution taken in the china dish. Sodium sulphide reacts with sodium nitroprusside to form a purple-colored iron complex which appears as violet streaks. Lead acetate test Materials required Aqueous solution of the salt Lead acetate solution Hot ammonium acetate solution test tube and droppers. Procedure Take a small portion of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, 
Add lead acetate solution using a dropper. Sulfate reacts with lead acetate to form a white precipitate of lead sulfate. Using another dropper, add excess of hot ammonium acetate solution to the lead sulfate precipitate. The precipitate is soluble in excess of hot ammonium acetate. Precautions Handle the apparatus and chemicals carefully. Use droppers to take the reagents from the bottles. Wear lab coat and gloves while performing the experiment.